Hello, well, you can probably hear the rain outside. So, what was I going to do? I think this is the pick. Okay, so here we have a um, commonly known as a cruciform lock. And this is one of the um, some cheaper, cheaper brands. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> you get like loads of keys with it. And here we go. It kind of goes this way. So the idea is, is that this arrow points to the top. It's in a cross shape. You put the key in with this nib on the key pointing up. Put the key in and turn it and the lock turns. Key's not in it. It won't turn. So, <clears throat> what am I going to use? Can I get away with this? Too big. Okay. <clears throat> yep. I'm going to try this homemade tension wrench. That looks a bit dark. Can we get a bit of light there? And hopefully, so the idea is that you've got, I think this pins on all four corners, maybe two or three pins on each. So I'm going to try and, in fact, oops, I think I'm going to use a tension wrench. Can I get the fat one in? I can. Okay, so I'm going to pick one of these angles. Maybe I'll go with, oh, I don't know, I'll go with this one. So I'm going to pick it anti-clockwise just to show it's locked up. So the idea is, is that uh, it's a bit like picking a, um, it's almost like picking a tubular lock. So you find the pin, I tend to get, the, this is a shallow hook, get the pin, just push in to feel the first pin. Got a bit of tension on it. Uh, if I just come up here, as you go in, so I feel the first pin, and then I put a bit of tension, and I feel it slide down, feel for the next pin, feels like there's only one there actually. Go to this one, feel for the pin, and push. Let's go through that again. Push, push, push. Try this side, come off, try again, this side, do all four corners, and you can hear the clicks. Like this, so we, there's a few various ways to picking these actually. And we just go along until we, I thought, so. okay, I'm going to go the other way. So we just go along, around, wait for the clicks. Just check if we've got a zoom on that, we got a good focus. We've got a focus on that. And you just go along feeling the pins, and there we go, returning. I'm not going to go all the way. Sometimes you may need to pick these more than once, yeah, it depends how much turn you want, but you can clearly see that that's, that's now, I'm going to put it back. I'm just going to show you the key again. Get the uh, little knob in there, put it in, and it opens. So what I'm going to do is I'm, um, <clears throat> I think if I can find, yep, here, I have my, uh, okay, I can't, pick, I can't even get the box open. So we have the uh, various, um, keys here and I'm just going to take a random one which is too big this is a small one and I think the idea is you can see it's locked put the key in and you 
Jiggle it about like this. It's a bit like the key jigglers. Okay, try a different one. Maybe try this one. On go in. Okay, try this one. So you put a bit of tension on it and you there you go. We have an open. We'll take that back and just double check the key. Key works. So these are really good actually. Um Crucifoam lock. Um, like jigglers in effect and they uh, these are good to get hold of actually uh, they cut down the middle really down to this gives them a bit of springiness and it allows you to push it in and out the lock and there's various sizes so we've got two three four got five different ones here and obviously you find one that fits and this one's a bit sharp two sharp teeth this one's a bit more wavy it's kind of a little bit like um this one's a little bit more like the um like the ball guitar a bit sharper this one's more like um the worm in the sense that it's more gentle curve so what i'm going to do is i'm going to push all that to one side and i'm going to speed up this video as we're going to have an attempt to take this apart so if you keep watching i will attempt to take this apart and we will maybe have a look at See what's inside one of these. Okay, well, I run the risk. My follow is too big, this one's too small. So I decided to, um, I'd just go for it anyway. And uh, hey, why not? Let's have a picking disaster, eh? So let's have a gutting disaster. Here we go. As you can see, Actually, if I go here and we do a zoom, there is, I'm not sure, here we go. I'm not sure whether these are supposed to be, oh, excuse the shake. I'm not sure these are supposed to be security pins. It's kind of a spool. There's another one there, and another one, and another one. So I'm just gonna get one of these. And maybe we'll take a closer look at it. You can see that the springs are tiny. So at some point I'm going to try to put this back together, but okay. There you go. It's a very, I'm not sure that's just rough Chinese pin, cheap Chinese. Oh, there's a cheap Chinese pin in there. Oh, well, that's supposed to be a security pin. I have no idea. But there you have it. And I'll, uh, at some point, I'll try to put this back together. In fact, ooh, here's the um, nib that was cr creating that, that click effect in the lock. Um, in fact, there's the bolt. There's the bobber in for it. And we well, could definitely improve on this. We could um we could thread some of these couldn't we and uh we could have a bit of a play. They've got a little lip 
ledges on it to stop the pins from falling through. You can see. In fact, if I can go a bit closer. I don't know if you can see there. There's a ledge and it stops the pins from falling through. And uh, I think that's it. I'm afraid I've destroyed this lock. So I've got a few of these actually. <clears throat> and I was thinking of experimenting to see whether I can make them any better or not, but I've got to put it back together first. So anyway, that's the uh, that's the um, Chinese cruciform lock. Um, thanks so much for watching. You take care. You have a nice day. And I'll try to sort out the mess. Bye now. Bye-bye.